Hello everyone. In this video, we will be taking a look at type A chopper. So let's get started. So this is the circuit diagram of a type A chopper. Now, in order to understand the circuit operation of this particular chopper, let us consider what happens during turn on and what happens during turn off. So during turn on, what we will be doing is we will be turning on this particular switch by giving a gate pulse to it. So in that case, what happens? This will be acting as a short circuit because positive power supply is anyways given to the chopper and you are also providing a gate pulse. Consequently, the chopper will be short circuited over here and current starts flowing through this path that is from the source over here and it flows through this path and it flows through the load. So consequently, you will be having current flowing through this direction and you will have inductor charging with a polarity plus and minus and the current returns through this direction. So the freewheeling diode is open circuited. That is, there is no conduction of it happening. The reason is because negative is connected to the anode of the diode. As a result, it is open circuited over here. And positive is applied across the cathode of this particular diode. So that's the reason why this is open circuited. So now in this case, what is happening? Current is flowing from the source to the load and the inductor is charging during turn on. So now let's take a look at what happens during turn off. So during turn off, what happens is I'm going to turn off this particular chopper that is CH1 by removing the gate pulse. In that case, this will act as an open circuit, isn't it? So in this case, what will happen is that the inductor that was having a polarity plus and minus in the previous case will reverse its polarity because it had charged previously to some extent and according to the property of Lenz law it will not allow sudden change in current meaning to say it will reverse its polarity and ensures that the current is still flowing in the same direction as it was flowing previously over here. So the current direction is still same and you might be having a question as why is this freewheeling diode acting as short circuit basically why is it conducting. So if you carefully observe over here, plus is connected to the anode of the freewheeling diode, anode of the freewheeling diode over here, and minus is connected to the cathode. As a result, freewheeling diode is in conduction and it acts as a short circuit over here. So consequently, the current will be flowing only through this path, meaning to say that the energy that is stored in the inductor will freewheel through the freewheeling diode and be discharged at the resistor R. So what is happening with the output voltage over here? If you carefully observe, this is a short circuit. So meaning to say that the output voltage V out will be equal to zero because this is a short circuit. So when you take a voltmeter and measure the voltage at this point, since these two are in parallel, the voltage that is measured will be across the least amount of resistance that is available. Basically, the redundancy concept takes place over here and consequently the voltage will be equal to zero at this point. So as a result, V out is equal to zero and current is still flowing in the same direction. But if you carefully observe, it is discharging through the resistor R. Very, very important observation because the energy that is available is continuously dissipated through the resistor R. Now let's take a look at the waveforms as why this analysis is important and why do we need to consider this type of chopper circuits. So in this case, we will be considering a source voltage Vs just like the way we were been doing previously, it's a constant DC voltage power supply. You'll be applying gate pulse at specific durations of time. And what happens to the output voltage? So output voltage, if you carefully observe in during turn on condition, this is during turn on condition. So when the gate pulse was provided, what was happening is that the supply, whatever is available is appearing across this particular point, isn't it? So till this point, from this point, once the gate pulse is supplied, it will start following the supply voltage waveform Vs. So it will start following supply voltage waveform till this point. And at the instant when you are turning off this particular switch, say let, let us assume that you are actually turning off the chopper at this particular point and consequently the during turn off operation takes place over here, isn't it? So as a result, the output voltage will go to zero. We saw that the output voltage was going to zero over here because of the short circuit at the freewheeling diode. So the output voltage goes to zero. Again, in the next cycle, when we are turning on, again, the same operation happens and the voltage waveform will start following the supply voltage waveform over here. So consequently, the waveform will be like this. And then it goes to zero again when you're turning off the chopper. 
and again the cycle repeats. So this is during turn on and this is during turn off and this is the total time period T. So what is the current waveform over here? So the current waveform is pretty simple and straightforward. Initially during turn on what was happening? The current through the inductor was slowly increasing meaning to say that the inductor is starting to charge isn't it so inductor does not allow sudden change in currents slowly it will start accepting the charge and it builds a magnetic field around it so consequently the current is increasing to a maximum point and at this point you are actually turning off so in this case what is happening the current was discharging through the resistor R meaning to say that the current is decreasing because the energy that is stored is being dissipated through the resistor R as a result it is decreasing over here. Again the concept repeats for the next cycles. So if you carefully observe this particular waveform the analysis was similar to that of step down chopper that we had done previously isn't it. So if you carefully observe other than the inductor that was available over here we are considering that through the load so that is a major difference but the entire operation if you see it is resemblance of step down chopper so type a choppers are also considered as step down choppers very very important observation now what is that we are going to conclude with type a chopper so the most important conclusion is let us consider the waveforms so if you carefully observe the output voltage was always positive or zero it was never going to negative isn't it Similarly, the current was always positive. It was never going to negative, isn't it? So if we consider four quadrants, that is draw a plot of V out versus I out. So there is a terminology with respect to how the motor operates. So when it's when both output voltage and current is positive, it's called as forward motoring. When output voltage is positive and current is negative, it's called as forward braking, meaning to say that the energy that is available mechanical energy will be converted to electrical so it's actually providing energy in terms of mechanical to electrical so similarly you have reverse motoring and reverse braking i'm not going to go in detail uh, with respect to this right now but as we go further we will try to understand what all these operations are but for now if you carefully observe v out and i out both are positive in this particular waveform so as a result type a choppers are also called as first quadrant choppers and they will always operate as forward motoring meaning to say the energy that is available from the source will be going to the load and there will be no energy that is coming back from the load to the source the energy will be there only in the one direction that is from the source to the load and if you are considering our load to be a motor in that case it will be operating as forward motoring meaning to say it will be rotating in one specific direction and it will be operating as a motor so that is why type A chopper circuits are used. If you want to control a motor in only one particular quadrant, you will be using this circuit to do that. I hope this video gave you a clear understanding of what type A chopper is about. In case you have any questions, feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please do like it and share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Thank you.